Hello everybody, welcome back to FTLC Infinite. This is strictly recorded after the previous one, because I'm feeling good about this. So, I won't be able to hear any advice I have been given. But, rest assured, I will be taking a break from FTL to get my backlog sorted out because I just uploaded 101, this will be 106. So, anyway, let's attack it. A lot of weapons. Let's go do something about them. Shots. No need to cloak, because it's good experience for my shield guy and pilot. Oh, no, wait. There we go. Gotta get him out first. Don't want to blow up my own crew now, do I? Wouldn't be the first time either. Halberd B. It's probably better than the Bardish. Requires one power extra though. But it's not as much, it's only 75. Uh, I'm gonna wait for shields though. I said that was going to be next and that's how it's going to be. Ah, uh, sure. Ion field. Ooh. It's already trying to make a run for it. Um, there aren't any drones coming out to get me. Well, they are going to try and repair the ship, which I can't have happen now, can I? So let's start dealing damage. Alright, so I'll get you in here and hopefully you can destroy that. Then fire the Bardish. And finish off the ship. Boom. Let's go! Mm. Okay. At least he's not immediately trying to make a run for it. I'm kinda busy here. And it's a miss. Nope. That was a hit. Mm, wish I could hit four rooms. So let's try out that super sneaky thing that I was told about. Although I don't think I'll be hitting engines this way. Might even just get two hits in with this one. Uh, it's gonna be close. And... yeah. Took six hull damage on this prick. Hope it was worth it. Ion cannon and one of those, but also ions, yeah, it's just 
go for it. We're used to these types now. I'm guessing repair rooms again, yep. But now let's be smart and lock down. Let's take the pilot out. Not because I'm afraid of missing, because that's something that actually can't happen, but... Because I don't want him to run. Lockdown happened again because... I want to keep the repair drones out. Okay, let's see if we can pull that off again. I think that's going to do it. Yeah. Well. I don't think the FL will charge that fast. <coughs> Especially with the pilot still being destroyed. That cloak wasn't needed. Did it anyway. Well, looks like we're moving out. Oh, no, get power first. Two bars sealed, so it only took me three sectors. No, two. Three? Three. Yeah, three. Let's do one more of these and then move a bit closer to our final goal. Ship. Uh, wait. <coughs> they say you. They say you just got on chance to surrender your goods. There's another typo, it needs an E, I think. Mm. Let's get everyone involved with this one. Now, what door are they firing on? Can't tell. Smart money will be on this one. Ah, they got one of those super enthusiastic drones, huh? I want one of those. At some point. I think it also fires on swarms. And seeing that I do not have the polishing kit, they are quite annoying. So, what will be next? I'm thinking about... Weapons, so I can get that halberd online. Big, big missile launcher. <coughs> we might be able to at least avoid a one shot of it. Nope, because it's down already. Ooh, thought I had one more bubble to go before the lockdown completely got removed. I was wrong. Doesn't matter. We'll send in more peeps. Oh, well, what we can do here now is this. Log down. Hit them with that again. We got our cloaking back so we can avoid a shot again. But I don't think they'll get one off. There we go. Uh, 
let's get one more power. Okay, so 50 more scrap for the halberd to be able to be used in battle. Let's sell off the... No. Let's see what we can sell. Consumer goods. Mm. Mm. This can go. I know it's a waste selling all the consumer goods then and there, but I... Well... Maybe we get something better and then at least get the money for it. Um, fuel? No. 34 will be plenty for now. Ooh, sun. Don't like suns. Let's try to deal with this one quickly. One lockdown must be enough. Cloak now so they can't fire their laser. And now let's start killing off the crew. As long as they do not get a fire in my teleporter, then we should be fine. And we don't. There is still crew aboard the ship. Ion burst. Hmm. I wonder. Two blasts, one each. It's not bad. It will be good against Sultan shields. Though it seems to be taking quite a while in order to be fired properly. Oh well, we can always sell it. Uh, hmm. I'd say it's time to put my money where my mouth is, but... Two missile launchers is a bit too... Too dangerous right now. real quick and kill off the remaining crew um, I will log down again just to fire at them with my light crystal it's not needed but to prevent any unfortunate accident I might as well go. Now we can get the bird, the halberd online or the bardish and light crystal or ion burst. So we're good for weapons for a little while now and I think it'll become time we move on to a sector. Uh, yeah, sure, okay, let's board in the weapons room, as always. Uh, only one of them is going to fight me. Good. He'll be dispatched with pretty quickly. My launch is still online, so we have no other option than to lock down. Where's the mine? Where's the mine? Where's the mine? There's the mine. It's still hit. I wonder if it actually decides where to hit or miss here or here. Either way, I got F to there, so. Okay.
Let's get one more power just so I don't have to draw too much power away if I want to use the Albert. Yeah, uh, I think it's more than time to move on to the next sector. I hit him with one. Okay. Ship at the same time as the well known computer voice of your ship. AI yeah, warns you of an active enemy teleporter, you get a taunting machine ready to die. I'm sure I sure am ready to get a promotion. That's what happens when you get too big for your own good. I shall show you the reason why. Not too afraid of my teleporter being destroyed. The engine's a bit more unfortunate. Now let's get you two in to start wailing at the weapons. On the drone. You can go there and delay. Yes. Barely, though. Uh, teleporter's down, so I can't get them back yet. So, it's up to one human and one human alone to defeat the entire crud that invaded my ship. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, as long as I can't destroy my oxygen or my doors, we should be alright, but it's taking oxygen quite a while to actually do anything here. Uh, let's keep running. If O2 breaks down, it's over. Well, not over, because <coughs> we can use the shuttle to get back, but... They're going the right side, good. Life support isn't failing, it's my own goddamn reason. Alright, I should finish them off. Day. Thank you. Uh, we got an NG. Well, right on time. We got a lot of stuff to fix.
Okay. So that ended up being a bit scary. But the Carnelian triumphed again. some speed in. Uh, you can be shields. How much was it for doors again? 100? Yep, 100. Well, we've got some extra crew now, so we should be able to be a bit better off. Sure. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, we know how to deal with you by now. Quick and painful. Ship that has his oxygen separated. I don't know why, but auto focus beam. Don't think I'll be using you. Fires pretty quickly, but <clears throat> it's probably one of those short ones. I'm not too much of a fan of those. Anyway, there's no real reason to keep the bardish up. Do I have the option to move on? No. You feed the fuel instructor and make the necessary preparations. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump closer to the Federation base. The region head will view. It will definitely be more dangerous than the sectors you travel to thus far. Wait, I can... What? <laughs> All words. In a sector under lockdown, a blockade fleet made up of engine Zoltan ships have been dispatched to keep a new unknown disease from spreading. Undoubtedly traveling through the sector will put some obstacles in rebels' way, but also endanger your crew. Hmm. At least we got to hear some new music. Distress, 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 and I have nothing. <laughs> so, we'll just stay away from distress beacons. Map me, bro. Uh, the ship you saved was badly damaged. Most of the crew's steps are off to be dropped off at a nearby station. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I got full crew. No, I'm missing one. Human for weapons. And now, without further ado, I will be trying to switch out all the humans for Zoltans or NGs. Let's 
staying away from the stress beacons. I have no medical supplies whatsoever and I will be losing more crew than I want. Quarantine checkpoint, traveling vessel being forward to plague. Your crew will submit to a complete medical. Have your energy verified that your crew is not infected. Yeah. Store where I want to sell some stuff. Heal up a bit. That's good for now. Um, doors. Stay away from the stress beacons. Sure. Oh, it's not like I can get anything good out of it. Severely epic music. Activate. It was safe for my border, so I'm but again, that's not how FTL works. Stay away from all the diseased places. What? Greetings, Captain. I am Glassman. I was drone representing an individual of great fame. Ah, the curator. Stress, stress, I do not want to visit the stress beacons. Uh, sure, I can sell some room parts. Not too many, of course. Let's speak with the engine. Outcome dependency on your actions almost 100%. Random factors substantial. So that's a small stab to all people claiming that the game is entirely luck based. Preferably, I like to restrain from making comments on that fact. I mean, any game can be completely luck based. I mean, if you're playing FPS and you miss someone, oh man, bad luck, herb, derb. Um, on the other hand, a stroke of bad luck can really mess up your run. Store, but I might as well check it out to see if there's anything in there I would want. P improved internal AI. Eh. Reverse cloaking. Oh, so this is just the. Okay. Stealth weapons. They've got a new name for those. Ugh. Well, I suppose I don't have to do anything there. I can just say no. Nope. 
Nope. They call me paranoid, but I've lost so much crew in these jackal poos medical emergency. In these quarantine sectors that I now am not going to touch anything. Continue to travel the depth of space. Claims it won't survive being shot with a scrap firing flag gun. Why wouldn't he be proud of it? It's better than throwing a wrench at it, I'm assuming. Anyway, let's move on to the quest marker. See how much we can take out of him. Uh, rum, rum, rum. Again, being swarmed at both sides, so there's not really a preferable side to fire at. Um, so we're not going to fire at him? Nah, it's only two rockmen. We should be able to take care of these. Effector Mark 1. Is it better than the Ion Burst? No, because it requires more power. Also does two Ion damage, but... Meh. Okay. Yes, we were going to that quest marker. Fuel is running low. to heal these two. That could have ended up bad. Well, it didn't, so... Tough. One hundred again, so we can now afford sensors, allowing us to see what the hell we're getting in ourselves into, and knowing where to fire our light crystal weapon. Fuel's getting low, meaning we'll be stuck in deep space for a little while. Weapon system, sure, one fuel, why not, right? Oh, now I got two quest markers. Uh, let's go to that one first. Wonder how many of these I do. <clears throat> um, yes, sure. Our teleporter is still kicking, so why wouldn't we attack? 
lock down. Lock down. Fire at them. whole thing again, huh? Pretty sure we killed one of them. Uh, no, sir. Unfortunately, I am going to... Ah. Oh. Really? Oh, there's two people in here. Killed one of them. Now, is there a safe place left to board? Not really. So we will board in their med bay then. And destroy that thing. Send this. There we go. Got some fuel out of it. Better the valuable item for a creator. All the artifacts of interest to him from this part of the galaxy have been retrieved. And where do I go? There. Let's see what we get. Sentient automaton arranges for a cargo ship. My master and I are very pleased. All these rare and curious things. The cargo will transmit some supplies and another typo. And and equipment. You should also know that you are deemed an explorer worth monitoring by my master. I would like to transfer my mind state into an avatar and join your crew to see what interesting things you come across. There will be an additional payment if you should allow me to accompany you. Yes, because it's an AI and I will get rid of you. Always wanted to see what his special thing was. Never had the chance to do so. And I hope his specialty isn't just giving you a hint every once in a while. Hostiles detect the ship's strength indicates that they teleport some of the steer ship equipment's value order to recruit to fend off the borders and seize supplies. Free stuff! How can you say no to such a thing? AI. You need to survive, so I might as well push you there. Right, right, right here. Jeez. Keep your pants on. Hmm. 
with nothing there out of the interest, I might as well open all of these. And this one. So if anything boards here, it will make a straight path to our medbay. Which is where I would like them to be. Oh, that's a pretty long jump. Um, sure. Um, what am I going to upgrade next, you ask? The answer being engines. For 5% extra dodge. Seven moons. I would like a slug. Because I have a lot of blue options. Yeah, we can go here and then there. And I know I get one fuel from getting to that exit beacon, so... Uh, combat, the yeah, eyes are rational to a point of blindness. There seems to be no way out of this without a fight. Unfortunately, they do have a missile launcher to them. Thankfully, they aren't that sturdy built. I mean, you'll be going over there for a while, and I am going to board with the... three crystals that I have. <laughs> the auto beam is supposed to fire fast. Let's see how that holds up. Good going there. Let's board in the weapons room. Get ready to repair the teleporter if needed. Mm, now we can lock down. Come on, cloak. There we go. Might as well stop them from healing up a bit. There we go. <coughs> well, that was an interesting fight. I think it's the first time I see a ship completely made out of AIs. Well, those... those thing... those AIs, not the AI ships, those... Unfortunately, come by the dozen. Right, well, there's no option to go to the next one yet, so off we go. After another stranding, blinking lights on its hollow generation unit signal that all of its processing power is currently used. You leave it alone as you have to assume that it's calculating something ship related. And with that, we're going to chalk up another episode in the CE Infinite mod. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be continuing this one next episode. Bye, everyone.